वेलकम बैक वीवर्स इन टूडेज वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू चेक आउट द वेनिला गिनोम डेस्कटॉप और द वेनिला गिनोम सेशन दैट वॉज इंस्टॉल एज अ डिपेंडेंसी वैन वी इंस्टॉल द उगुन टू गिनोम डेस्कटॉप सो लेट अस स्टार्ट यू हैव टू सिलेक्ट द गिनोम सेशन सो वी विल सिलेक्ट द गिनोम वेलैंड सेशन एंड नाउ वी विल इनपुट द पासवर्ड द पासवर्ड रिमेन्स द सेम अक्रॉस ऑल द सेशंस just wait for the session to yes so you can see here this is the ubuntu uh, we can say it is a mix of the vanilla gnome session as uh, configured as developed by the gnome organization it contains some elements of the linux mint for example this welcome app is from the linux mint the total loop and the feel of the gnome desktop is as per the gnome.org and the wallpaper is from the you can see here the wallpaper is from the ubuntu 22.04 lts gnome desktop so it is a mix of uh, the three but it works perfectly i will just show you so what we will do is let us try to check whether the first steps work so here you can see you can configure the backups that is the system snapshots you can launch the driver manager it is looking for the driver so it is a mix of both linux mint as well as the ubuntu so that's a very great uh, you can say a great uh, boon for the user so you can use this mix match desktop there is also a update manager so let us see what happens uh, meanwhile we just uh, start the update manager also so i think the first thing that the update manager will do is to install the update manager update and uh, switch to the local mirror yes so we have switched to the local mirror let us see what happens so as i told you there is a upgrade for the mint uh, upgrade tool no not mint upgrade tool it is a new version of the update manager normally this is uh, always available whenever you have done a fresh install of the linux mint you have to just apply this update and here you can see the repositories so the linux mint repositories and the base ubuntu repositories are already configured the pps are blank additional repositories uh, anyway it is uh, disabled that is the cd rom that is the iso that we used to install the linux mint and this is the maintenance so you can fix merge list problem purge residual configuration remove duplicate entries add missing keys remove foreign packages downgrade foreign packages authentications are right now blank we can download the authentications to enter the so right now it is not available because i don't have the fingerprint of the public key else you can download the authentication keys also here or maybe you can import yes for import you require some local uh, those uh, public keys on your local file system or the removable drive so i am now going to close this let us see what happens so no drivers are needed it is showing maybe the driver manager from the ubuntu will work here uh, but uh, as it is in virtual machine for example i got the nvidia card but since i am running on a virtual machine the nvidia card won't be detected let us try to update let us see if the update works so it is not working what we will do is let us try to install updates let us see what happens so that is also not getting accepted so this is the experiment maybe you get the software updates from the gnome software uh, manager or the gnome software store let us see what happens but from ubuntu definitely the updates will work So it is generating the cache. So meanwhile, we can check out the applications that are installed. So you see the same application that we saw in the Ubuntu GNOME desktop are available in the Vanilla GNOME desktop also. Same applications are here. Plus some applications are from the Linux Mint also. So there are some applications from the Linux Mint also. 
what is this library let us see what the library is so it is nothing but a document viewer okay so you can check out the epdf i think so cache generation is going on let us check if the firewall works so the updates and the driver uh, installation is not working using the linux mint uh, welcome app but i think the ubuntu software uh, updater will work let us see we have to wait for the status yes so the status is on now and you can see the ascent colors system program problem detected so report the problem you have to just input your password to report the problem okay so now the firewall is okay documentation it will all show the documentation not from the ubuntu but from the linux mint so keep this in mind this problem report is damaged and cannot be accessed. so anyway we forget that you have to launch the contribute now now what we will do is let us open the so the mint updater is not working i think the uh, this ubuntu software updater will work let us check out so we always try to do different experiments with linux mismatch things and check whether those things will work the linux has come a long way from being uh, comparatively unstable as compared to windows to now being a very very mature software and it is even more stable than the windows earlier if you if you have used the linux uh, before 2004 it was not that uh, stable because what used to happen there used to be no updates and uh, for the upgradation you have to always use the cd dvd that was uh, released uh, in physical form so you have to get the cd dvd from the market so in market it used, used to be available with the different uh, electronics and the uh, computer related magazines so the magazines used to have the cd dvd with the new uh, desktops new software updates and those we have to install so there are no software objects only the direct new version of the desktop or new version of the linux distribution will come up so here you can see the ubuntu updater app software updater is working so i think uh, we can install this let us try let us see if the installation works yes so it is working uh, let it uh, run in the background what i will do is let us try out the different uh, settings let us go and open the settings page let us see what is there in the store for us anything any new surprises are there what kind of wallpapers are there whether the desktop works properly you can see here the linux mint 21.2 is given as the os name it is running the gnome version 42.9 windowing system is valid because gnome has now shifted to valid as as the x uh, x server or the x org is going to uh, drop the support and soon it will be a thing of the past only the legacy system the older uh, older systems will get support but no new development will occur in the x server so now it is already the vanilla gnome desktop is already on wayland while uh, ubuntu is still offering wayland as well as the xor as a separate session now let us check out the backgrounds so here you can see mostly it is uh, let me check no so these are the uh, wallpapers from the genome.org if you remember this wallpaper is there in the end it looks very fantastic i will just show you and it is also there in linux mint so these are the linux mint wallpapers so linux mint endeavor also has this this is available and this this is the common wallpaper the one i am clicking on so i think the system is hanging because the updates are running plus the software manager is updating the cache okay so it should now get updated to the new wallpaper yes so we can check out here i will just minimize this so system is hanging because we are running multiple updation upgradation uh, attempts 
yes so this is how it looks this wallpaper is very nice looking wallpaper so what we can do is we can just uh, we can just wait for the update to complete or what we can do we can uh, go ahead let us go ahead and check out the wallpaper so this one is also nice looking wallpaper so this is how it looks that's it and anything else is there so let us check out the application so video videos is there calculator text editor document scanner system monitor let us check out the system monitor you can see here 3.7 gb of ram is being used because the software cache is getting updated as well as the software updater is also running okay file systems you can see here in the file systems where is the root file system so root file system is not visible here how come so it is not showing the root file system it should show so this is one surprise uh, that we have got with this hybrid system where the ubuntu uh, this vanilla gnome desktop is running on linux mint 21.2 with the uh, Ubuntu software updater working. So Linux Mint updater is not working here. Only the Ubuntu software updater is working. So it is kind of hybrid system, and it is not showing the root file partition in this uh, system monitor. So that is a surprise for us. Then what is there? So this drawing app is there. Battery document viewer, character map, celluloid is there. Celluloid is from the Linux Mint. Bluetooth manager, backup tool, driver manager, file renamer, files, web, uh, this uh, Firefox web browser, image viewer, hypnotics, hypnotics is a online TV viewer. So mines, uh, Gnome nodes, onboard, pics, input method, language support, library, that is a e-library or e-PDF viewer, Beautify settings, Redshift is there, Remina is there, which is a uh, remote uh, login uh, client Parpirator is there, web apps is there, system report system reports is I think from the Linux Mint Sudoku is there, transmission to do, USB writer, USB formatter so I think that is it let us see whether the up update completes or not and then we will stop the video so if the update works then of course you can continue using the system if the updater fails then you should not use this system because it will not work for you and you won't get any updates let us see what happens it is anyway installing the update so at least 50 percent it is working the rest 50 percent we have to test So this installation of locals will take hell lot of time. Whenever there is upgrade for to local, it will take a lot of time.
update has now ended so the system is updated and we will require to restart but we will not restart right now because uh, i want to show you something so simultaneously the software manager is also updated and this is the linux mint software manager so in our hybrid system what has happened is we are running the vanilla gnome desktop as per the specification and configuration of gnome organization the ubuntu packages have been updated using the software updater and the software manager is running from the linux mint so the linux mint software manager is running and you can see here this is the new look of the software manager of linux mint so this is the latest uh, look of the linux mint software manager version 21.2 so you can use this desktop if you want the vanilla gnome desktop you want the goodies and the wallpaper from the ubuntu uh, linux distribution and you want the software manager from the linux mint so it is a mix of three the vanilla gnome desktop the linux mint base and the ubuntu gnome desktop base also is there so you got uh, actually two linux distributions Uh, configs of two linux distributions working on the linux mint base and you have got the vanilla gnome desktop that is working so with this i will stop the video here we will meet in the next video where we will do the installation of the pudgy desktop in linux mint 21.2 so see you then bye bye